The minute that I saw this plastic model of the brainstem doing this pose, I recognized it right away. There, that pose is a famous pose from the statue of Artemis of Ephesus or, or Diana. And it right away, I looked at that and I went, man, that, that's a brainstem. It's, it's undeniably the pose of the brainstem with the hands being out like this, showing you the trigeminal nerve. And as we can see in, in these statues uh, that you oftentimes see with these, there's multiple variations of this style of statue, this pose of this multi-breasted or the multi uh, bull testicle, whatever people think these, these multiple breast-like shapes are, whenever you see that statue, she has this kind of weird halo or this weird partition on the side of her head that doesn't really make any sense, that seems kind of uh, strange from an artistic composition. But again, if you look at it as brain anatomy, you can start to see that on the side of the head is again that cerebral crust. And you can start to see it in any of these variations of this statue, she usually is de depicted with some sort of partition behind her head. And I think it's pretty safe to, to say that that is the cerebral crust. Her hands are the trigeminal nerves. Her torso is the pons, and her legs are the medulla oblongata. And she is also, the Artemis or, or Diana of Ephesus is considered to be a terminal figure. And she's, she's got these kind of nondescript legs that go into a torso of a, of a human figure. The more images that I saw of brain anatomy, I started looking at these trigeminal nerves and I started coming across images of the brainstem that was drawn in a different way or from a different angle. And I started to recognize this particular pose where you see these, again, these trigeminal nerves going up like this, and you have this base uh, legs, and you have this torso, and you have this head with the two eyes, and you have sort of a hat. I realized looking at that, again, I had seen this pose before, and I had seen it in images of Ishtar. And this particular image of Ishtar is from uh, what's called the Ishtar vase, and it's uh, from the second millennium BC. And it's a crude sort of drawing, as far as all the other, or carving, it's a crude carving, and as far as some of the other artifacts go, it's, it's a much more primitive, simplistic version of this. 